My name is Kishwani. This K E S H W A N I Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the T's. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the ATI T Study Manual, the sixth edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today is our lesson number 135. We are on page number 86, day number 135. The sixth manual, the sixth edition that I just showed you, the lessons begin in this book from day 101. If you're interested in watching the problems that appeared in the previous edition, the fifth edition, you will find the solutions to all the math problems that appeared in the previous edition, the fifth edition, from day number one through 80. These five, one through 80. There are no videos from 81 through 100. We begin with 101 in the sixth edition. Let's take a look at it. We are on page 86, as I said. We did problem number one already on day number 134. Today we'll do problem number two. In problem number two, you're given a chart. You're given a graph and we are supposed to ask a question based on that graph. I want to make sure that we are able to reproduce that graph if we were just given the raw data. So that's what we're going to do. We'll begin with the raw data that, that I'm going to put on the blackboard and you and I will put together a graph and hopefully a chart and hopefully that chart that we produce will look similar to the one that is given in the book. Let's take a look at it. What is it that, what is it that we are told? Well, we are told that we have five people. We have, this is number two, on page number 86. We are told that we have Alice, Betty, Kathy, Dave, and Eve. Isn't that nice? That is so nice of them that we have five people here, A, B, C, D, E. They have friends. They have friends. Of course, everybody has friends these days, except perhaps I. They have friends on Facebook. They have friends on Twitter. And they have friends on something called the Snapchat, I believe it's called. And I haven't the foggiest what the bloody hell that is, but there we have it. Snapchat must be something very cool, which is why I have the foggiest, which is why I'm not aware of it. Anyway, let's take a look at it. We are told that Alice has 75 friends on Facebook. She has, I believe it's a she, Alice, of course, uh, has 8 friends on Twitter and she has 35 friends on Snapchat. Betty, we're going to pick up speed, she has 42 friends on Facebook, 58 friends on Twitter, no friends on Snapchat. Kathy has 80 friends on Facebook, 8 friends on Twitter, no friends on Snapchat. Dave has 50 friends on Facebook, 60 on Twitter, no friends on Snapchat, and Eve has 35, 25, and 10. And if you were to if you were to plot this thing, how would it look like? What would it look like? Let's take let's take a look at it. I already told you, I already told you to watch the videos from day one, one through eighty. Typically I don't like to erase this thing because I like to use it in all the all the videos. Perhaps we can do it down here. Let's do it down here. I shouldn't have used the room so much. Let's use it right here. We're gonna we're gonna draw a little graph. What's gonna go on the on, on the x-axis? On the x-axis are gonna be people. This is the bar chart, and here we have Alice, then we have Betty, then we have Kathy, then we have Dave. And then we have E. So far so good. Watch what happens. Now in order to draw the graph, we cannot just go hog wild and just do anything on the on, on. here, here there are no numerical values. These are the people. Here we can have numerical values, and the question is how high do, I, do, do we want to go? Well the highest figure, since there's a number number of people on each of the different medium, you see, each of the different medium, not each of the different media, media is plural. On each of the different medium the Snapchat, the Facebook, the Twitter. What's the highest number that you see here? Highest number that I see here is 75. That's the highest we're going to go. So let's just stick with this thing. I'm just going to go, uh, let's just do 80 here. 
Make a half of it, that's 40. You see how we do it? Take a half of that, that's 20. Half of that is going to be 60. And then this is 50, 70, 30, and 10. Well, we are ready to begin our work. Okay, we're not going to talk anymore. We're going to pick up some speed. Alex has 75 friends on Facebook. This is 70. Keep in mind, this is 70. We are representing here number of friends. Number of friends times 10. Even though, if, the, if I'm going to put times 10 here, and technically I should put a 7 here because that's a 70. So 75. 75 is going to be between 7 and 8. That's 75 right here. 75 is right here. This is this is Alice. So let's do a little line here. This. This. Facebook. And let's give it a certain, certain designation. This vertically, this, this line is going to represent and Facebook. And this has to represent this net notation. This, uh, this notation should have to be consistent throughout the entire problem for everybody. So let's make a note of it here that uh, this thing that we just did here was Facebook. Let's continue. Then we have 8 friends on Twitter. Remember this is 20, this is 10. This is going to be 10. So 8 is going to be down here somewhere. It doesn't have to be fancy. And the, it doesn't have to be fancy as I said. They just have to be reasonable. How should we do this thing? Uh, let's just put dot 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 because I believe that's what they do in the book. I want to I want to so here we go. And that's going to represent Twitter, the dot 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 dot. Then she has 35 friends. Okay, watch 35 friends. And all of this is not required to do the problem because very easily I've done the problem, answer the question and be done with it. But it's it's good to understand the nitty-gritty of it or how this how this chart is put together to begin with in the event that you have to do it yourself. So, very good job. 35, 35, this is 10, 20, 30, right here is 30. 35 is going to be somewhere here. Draw a little line here. Draw a little line here, a bar right here. And what sort of rotation should we give here uh, to this guy? Uh, let's, do, let's, just do, let's just do double crossover and this. And that's going to be Snapchat. That's Alice. For Betty, I need some room. I shouldn't have made. Let's move on to Betty. Betty is 42. This is 40 right here. 42 is going to be somewhere here. That's Betty. She has 42 friends. This is Betty. On Facebook, she has 58 friends. On Twitter, 58 friends. This is your 60. If this is 60 and this is 50, 58 is going to be somewhere here, very close to here. And just draw it. It's not a big deal. And these are going to be dots. And that's 58. She has no friends on Snapchat, so we don't have to worry about it. We just leave it at that. Let's move on to Kathy. Kathy has 80 friends. Oh, 75 was not the highest. It's just as well that I did 80 as the highest one, because that's what we have here. I just got lucky. Kathy. Kathy has 80 friends. 80 friends is way up here. And she has 80 friends on Facebook. She has 8 friends on Twitter. 8 friends is going to be down here. Oh, same as this. Uh, some other person must have had 7 or 8. Oh yes, do you see this person, Twitter? It's, so we're going to use the same height. The height was here. This height we're going to use. We're going to continue using the same height. So that represents the eight. Eight people. Kathy has eight people on Twitter. She has no friends on Snapchat. We can move on to Dave. Dave has 50 friends. 50 is right here. I shouldn't have... The thickness, the thickness of the bar has no significance here. Do you understand? It is the height of the bar that tells us how many people are. Thickness has no significance, which is why if I happen to be a little inconsistent, ordinarily if it did have meaning, and sometimes they do in the frequency distribution, it has a meaning, the thickness of the, of the bar. Here it has no meaning. If it did have meaning, I would have been more careful. Do you understand? The thickness of the bar has no meaning. It is the height that tells us how many friends a person has on a given medium. So 50 people here on Facebook, 60 on Twitter, 60 is way up here.
On Twitter, what do we use for Twitter? Da, 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 da. That's the Twitter of 60 people. Has no friends on Snapchat, so we can move on to the last person. The last person is going to be, oh, this is not the last person. The last person is going to be Eve. I'm just going to do Dave and then we're going to stop, okay? Because I'm running out of room. Actually, oh, that was Dave. That was Dave. So that was the right. We are at the last person. That was that. We just finished Dave. Let's do Eve. Is it 50, 60, and 0? You see 50, 60, and 0. No friends. 35, 25, and 10. 35 on Facebook. 35 is going to be this is 30, this is 40, 35. Oh, there, somebody else must have been 35 as well. See, there is a 35 here, and there is a 35 here. That's why we use the 35 right here for the first person, Ella. So we're going to use the same height, right at this height. It's going to continue. That's the Facebook, 35 people. Then she has 25 people on Twitter. 25 is going to be, there's a 10, there's a 20, there's a 30. 25 is going to be somewhere in between. It doesn't have to be perfect as long as it's reasonable. That's 25 and has 10 people on, on Snapchat. 10 people is right here, just a little bit above this, this guy right here, just a little bit above it. Right here, is, this was 8, so it's just going to be a little bit above it. And that's your, that's your Snapchat, 10 people, and that's it, that's reasonable. And that chart that we just plotted here should look very similar to what you see in the book. And if it doesn't, then we got a problem. It will look similar, it will look similar if you emphasize Go there and just make it look really pretty. That's what it is. There is the last guy. That's the last guy. There was a person before that. There is a person before that one. and then so on and so forth. Let's answer the question. Enough of the talk. Enough of the talk. Let's, let's answer the question. It says, which of the fall? It says, I'm going to read it verbatim from the book. It says, five friends, five friends are comparing the number of friends they have on social media sites. Which of the following observation is true? So we're given five observations here, and our job is to establish which three of these four are false statements. They're erroneous. Only one of them is correct. Let's see what, let's see what the statement one says. Statement A says, this is Alice, you're all my friends. You are all my friends, all my friends on Snapchat. Is that statement true? Is it, okay? is, it, is it correct for us to claim that all of you are my friend, B, C, D and E are my, you are all my friend on Snapchat? Well the answer is no, this is not correct. This is not correct. How do we know that? Because if they were all friends of Alice on Snapchat, then all of these people, B, C, D and E, should have had minimum of one friend on Snapchat. Betty has no friend on Snapchat. If Betty has no friends on Snapchat, then how can this person be the friends of Betty on Snapchat? This person has no friend on Snapchat. This person has no friend on Snapchat. I erased the numbers. I should erase the numbers. You could see that B, C, B, C, D have no friends on Snapchat. Have no friends on Snapchat. So it is not possible for Alice to have all of these people as her friends if these people have no friends on the Snapchat. Because of course it has to be corresponding. B. Statement B says, oh statement B is silly. It says title is missing on the chart. 
it is a silly statement I said it's too silly it is a silly statement but it is indeed very correct it may sound silly it may sound childish it may sound infantile it may sound puerile but it is correct the statement says that it has the, the chart has no heading every chart every graph has to have some heading for us to know what the bloody thing is all about how am I supposed to know what the chart is supposed to represent here if I have no heading there what does this represent it says there's five people in this thing this has to have some heading graphs should have heading graphs and charts must have heading titles whatever title how are you going to phrase it up to you but it has to have a title number of friends number of number of friends uh, of, uh, of A, B, C and D something to that title this is correct C says C says I have I have I have the most friend I have the most friends C Kathy is claiming that I have the most friend perhaps she's claiming that she has the most friend because she's going by the height of the bars and this bar is the highest one no she has the most friend on Facebook on, on, on Facebook that is correct but she does not have the most friend let's find out how many friends they have total friends you see A A has 75, 8 and 35 if you do the addition 10 plus 8 is 18 carry 1 10, 10, 10 plus 1 is 8, 118 B is 42, 58 and 0 so 42, 58 that's 0 that's 100 C says this is the claim that C is making she says she has 80 friends on Facebook 8 on Twitter, 0 on this thing she has only 88 friends total she only has 88 friends if she only has 88 friends we don't have to feel worry about D, uh, the last part D and E that, that claim is, no, uh, is not valid she does not have the most friend she only has 88 friends altogether this person has 100 friends this person has 118 friends that claim is already wrong let's find out how many, how many people D and, D and E have D has how many friends? Can you figure out? I want to find out who has the most friend. I want to figure out who can make the claim that I have the most friend. D has 50, 60 and 0. That's 110. 110. So far this guy is the winner. This guy doesn't have the most friend. This guy doesn't have the most friend. So far, so far A can claim that I have the most friend. D is 35, 25 and 10. That's just going to be carry one, 70. That person does not have the most friend. Who has the least number of friends out of these five? Eve has the least number of friends. She only has 70 friends. 35 friends on the Facebook, 25 on Twitter, and 10 on the Snapchat. Who has the most friend? Most friend, this person, person A. It is not correct for D to, it is not correct for C to claim that I have the most friend. What is wrong with statement D? Can you tell me? What is wrong with statement D? There must be something wrong with statement D, which is why that statement, or rather, which is why that statement is not the right answer also. Obviously, we cannot have two right answers. The right answer is C. The right, right answer, rather, we said was B, because uh, the, 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 the fact here is that the title is missing. Statement D says, I only have five friends. I have, I have only five friends on Facebook. On Facebook should be FP. I don't know why. Isn't that what it is? First one is yeah, Facebook. Is that true? I have only five friends. This is the statement that is made by D. Where is D? Right here is D. Yes, you see? This is right here. 
it looks like only five friends because I see one, two, three, four, and five. Yeah, he only has five friends on the Facebook. They only have five friends on the Facebook. The answer is no, 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 no. These are multiples of ten. That's why we have times ten. This figure, even though it says one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, is each times ten. So that's not five. That five is not five. That five is fifty. For him to say that I only have five friends on the Facebook by looking at the chart, he's not reading the chart carefully. He has 50 friends indeed. That's why statement D is also wrong. The correct answer here is C. Or rather, correct answer here is B. Correct answer here is B. We established that because the bloody thing needs a title. Otherwise, it has no meaning. That's how trivial it was. The entire problem was just too silly. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.